Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. After about an hour of stoning this draw knife, it's, it's starting to look okay. It's, it's got a bit more to go. But I've noticed that I've worn off part of the diamonds right here on the stone. Now, this is the 200 grit and the 200 grit gets most of the work. It does a lot of the roughing. And I think I'm gonna, first off, I'm gonna end up getting another one of these stones. But since it was 15 bucks and I got it with a 20% off discount coupon, it's not that much. And I'll probably just get either another one like this or they'll probably have something close to it there at Harbor Freight. But I think I need a new 200 grit stone. Knowing that this thing has done this, I think I'm also going to switch over and go with a coarser old fashioned stone just to see what happens. This is an, is an India combination bench stone. This is an India combination bench stone. Uh, product number 85565-8. Uh, sharpening stone, one inch by two inch by eight inch. Product makes pretty good stones. Because it's an oil stone, uh, I'm not going to be able to use exactly the same setup I had before because I don't want to mix the oil and the water onto the device. So I'm going to make a little thing to hold an oil stone. Now I have oil stones already. I have an old uh, oil stone in a, a wooden case that was made and it's kind of cool and I'm just going to grind the hell out of it on this. So. This is a, a nice stone, but nothing world beating about it. It's just a very good coarse stone, and I'm going to try and use that to cut this uh, draw knife down a little faster. See if I can't get it done sometime this year. It's kind of interesting that in making the vise, a really handy thing to have would be a vise. But I'm going to get by with these clamps. I just got to cut off a chunk of this 4x4. I want to use the 4x4 because it's going to raise the draw knife up so that the handles don't hit while I'm doing the polishing on the blade. It's uh, about 5.15 in the morning. So I'm having my breakfast.
Yes, it is treated lumber, and no, I'm not worried about being contaminated. Oh, for the want of a horseshoe nail. And what do you do if you don't have a horseshoe nail? You make a horseshoe nail.
This is a Corsair coping saw that came in a box of stuff that uh, I had. And it's the one that's got a blade in it, so I was going to use it. Turns out that the blade is in backwards, so whoever had it before probably wasn't very happy with the way it cut. Nice little keeper. Might stop me from knocking this stone off onto the floor. At least I hope it will. Just a number 12, it gets a lot better on the thin stuff. 10 teeth branch. Not that it matters too much on a jig to hold an oil stone, but it does a nice job of cutting. Now I'm gonna set this up this way because I wanna have it off the, the bench so that I can have my hands down here and not drag my knuckles on the bench while I'm working. Something that would make my life easier if I could remember to do it would be to wipe off the glue off the tip of the glue bottle because it comes off when it's dried, but it doesn't like to. It comes off kind of difficult. And if I don't get it out of there, it restricts the flow. It makes it so the darn thing doesn't want to come out.
using salvage screws out of an old patio chair. this is just checking to see if the oil stone is going to work. holes in there at an angle and there's a reason for that. Put the, the clearance holes for the screws in at an angle and there's a reason for that. I wanted to have it so that when I tightened up the screws they go in there and wedge the stone in so I won't pop the stone out of the fixture. And there we go. Nice and solid. Now if I wipe off the tip, the glue, when I go to use it next it should be better, right? That's the theory anyways. Definitely gonna scratch it. I need some oil. If you have any suggestions for a new video or questions about today's video or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments below. You know, I read them all. Thanks for watching. look at the lens I'm looking at the screen and watching myself move and that means that I'm looking off to the side in every shot